Welcome back to The Person Everyone Needs. I'm your host, Webb Hoggard, and today we are going to wrap up our conversation with the 10-year-old. We've been talking for the last few weeks. We've had several people that if they could go back and talk to their 10-year-old self, they were given the advice of what they would talk about. But today in my little studio, I've got my very own 10-year-old son, the boy that made me a father. Luke is on the podcast today. And so I'm going to be asking him some questions about what would a 10-year-old wish we all understood. And so I I believe today is going to be a very fun podcast with my main boy, and uh, I'm glad to have him here. So Luke, what do you wish we all knew about a 10-year-old? I would like for people to know about a 10-year-old that they haven't done as much or had as much experience as most adults do. Adults have a lot of tough times in their life and times that they'll never forget and they learned a lot from. Well, 10-year-olds, like me, don't have as much of that. So I think that when sometimes we get mad really easily and we do stuff that's not really appropriate, that you should go a little bit easier because we don't know what could it result in. I mean, like, teach us, but don't be so hard in teaching us. So I think that's what lots of people should know about a 10-year-old. So the first thing you want us to know is that because we've had more experiences than you, we might be wiser than you. And so we shouldn't be so short with you. We should have more grace for you. That's exactly what I think. Okay. Uh, what was something else? What other thing do you wish, like, if you wish that you could tell every adult, like, you know, I need, as a 10-year-old, we need you to be more this. You were telling me before the show, you were saying that you would like me to trust you more. Well, yeah, sometimes I feel like we need more trust, but actually we don't know what too much trust could result in. <laughs> so Okay, so you're changing your whole tune. All right, so you started out saying you wanted more freedom and trust, and now you're saying you want more grace and patience from us, right? Exactly. Okay. Little turnaround. <laughs> okay, sounds good. So I'm guessing uh, you're aiming this at me, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> what is the, as a 10-year-old, okay, in your life that you're at right now, What's the thing you're most afraid of? Being punished and y'all getting mad at me. That's the thing you're most afraid of? Yeah. More than spiders and sharks and... Yes. Like me dying? You're more afraid of me being disappointed in you. Okay. Dying is a little bit over the top. (laughs) (laughs) Too far. Too far. Too far? Okay. (laughs) All right. So in your little 10-year-old world... What are the things that those who are older than you are getting right? Well, they are getting right more like in doing more stuff. They're getting right better. They're better than us. They've had more experience. They know how to do it because they've done it before. And I think that's something that usually us 10-year-olds don't have as much as experience in or do as much in. So you keep saying that it's our experiences that make us more intelligent or more, we know more things or whatever, but I think it has a lot more to do with evaluation, taking the time to evaluate the experiences that you're in because perception is very important. If you don't perceive correctly, you won't understand correctly. And what I find a lot of times for, you know, young people your age is that you guys have a view that's not real, but you just said that you think that those of us who have experienced more life than you, that we should have patience with you, but shouldn't that also imply that you guys should have more trust in us? If we have had more experience, shouldn't you trust us more? Yes. So what makes it hard for you to trust those who are older than you? Well, sometimes the things that you tell us to do sound a little bit crazy and not what we want so we sometimes immediate thinking we say but i wanted this i don't trust you i think you're just trying to take the things i want in life away some most of us actually know that you want us to have exactly what what we want you just 
can't you can't give us what we want you just want to be wise with it because sometimes giving us too much of what we want could end so how can we make that easier for you i mean if you don't trust us in that moment if you're convinced that we want to take away good things what can we do to help you understand this is a wisdom thing this is not we're trying to ruin your life like i don't i don't know what adult is sitting around being like oh i just wish i could ruin a 10 year old's life today <laughs> Like, how do we help you with that? Well, sometimes to help us with that, don't give us so much. You mean stuff or choices or options or questions <laughs> like I'm okay. doing right now? <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what am I giving you too much of? Don't give you too much what? Don't give us too much stuff. Because then whenever you say... Hey, I don't think we should get this. You have a million of these in your room. But this one's version 2699.05. There's no difference. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we should just say no to you constantly all the time and never oh, say yes. Not all the time. Oh, okay. But, but are, you, are you telling your dad right now that it's okay for me to tell you no a lot? Uh, 65 out of 100% of the time. Okay. All right. So more no's than yeses. Yes. But what about options? Do you like it when I'm like, hey, Luke, what do you want to do today? I or does that stress you out? You love that? I love being in control. <laughs> okay. So you like having the options. What if you choose an option and you don't get your way? Uh, sometimes you get me, that gets me mad because you gave me a ton of options and then it, that one option doesn't go my way kind of gets me angry. I thought that would go perfectly my way. I totally get that. It's really annoying to me when somebody is like, hey, what do you want to do? And I'll tell you what I want to do. And then they're like, yeah, we're not going to do that. Like, don't even ask me unless you can give me exactly what I want. Yeah. I didn't even want to tell you what I wanted. Right? Like, <laughs> Yeah, just either give me what I want when I say I want or... Leave me alone for Pete's sake. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Well, one day you're going to be old like us. Okay? So you just said to me that you wished that I would... Again, before we got on the show, you said, I wish you would trust me more and basically let me do what I want to do. Yeah. And then when we got up here, then you said, understand that we're still just children and you need to give us... I'm just telling you, you're talking like you're in junior high already. Like, you want to be treated like an adult when you want to be treated like an adult and treated like a child when you want to be treated like a child. And what you want from me is to give you freedom but also have patience with you. So let me say something back to you on that. If you believe that I know better than you, doesn't that mean you should trust me? Mind blow. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you should trust me. Okay. Now... If I do things that you don't like, doesn't that mean you should probably give patience and grace to me as well? Yeah, but sometimes we are quick thinkers, and sometimes we just go, mm -hmm. we just say something immediately. <laughs> what I guess I'm hearing here is that um, what I would tell anybody who's wanting to be the person everyone needs, that one thing I would say is that everybody has something you don't, and mm -hmm. you can learn from anybody. Anybody can teach you something. The second thing I would say is that whether you're 10 or 37 or 84 or 4, the thing that we need to give one another is grace, patience, mm -hmm. trust, mm -hmm. basically valuing people as if they all have something to offer. I love when the, all the lines connect. <laughs> <laughs> so they come back and forth. So here's the thing. Like what you want from me is what I want from you. You want me to trust you. I wish you would trust me. You want me to have grace with you. I wish you would have grace with me. You want me to be patient with you. I wish you were patient in your life. I look at you, Luke, and you're trying to be a 50-year-old as hard as you can. And you will never get the chance to be a 10-year-old again. Yeah. A lot of my life, I skipped ages because I was constantly trying to get old. And now that I'm old... You wish you could go back. I don't really wish I could go back. I just wish I'd have done better back then. And then there are people my age, Luke, who do act childish. And that's a bad look, too. 
you don't ever get to be 10 again. This is it. This is your one chance of being 10. Don't try to be 11. And then when I get 11, I'll, I'll wish I was still 10. Yeah. So or enjoy, continue um, to want to be 30. And then when I'm 30, I'll be like, I wish I could be 10 again. All the joy I could have had. Now, let me say something else about that. Let me ask you a question. So we just decided, right? Like what you need is for me to trust you more, right? Mm -hmm. And for me to have more grace with you because you don't know as much as I do, right? Exactly. Okay. What do I need from you? More trust, more grace, more patience. That's right. You want me, you want me to do exactly what I just said for you to do for me. You want me to do exactly for you. Now, that's what I want from you as your dad. But that's what everybody wants. Every 10-year-old in your class wants somebody to look at them and give them grace and trust. Right? Mm -hmm. Now let me say one more thing. What does Luke need from Luke? That is really confusing. I would I think that one of the things you need to give yourself is a little more grace. You're so hard on yourself. That's why every ounce of disappointment you burst into tears because it's like, how could I ever fail this much? Give yourself some grace, buddy. You can't yeah. be perfect. You won't be perfect. Sometimes I feel like that. I just, I feel this one time and then I'm like, and then right when I fail, I just can't handle it. And then right when I do something right, I'm just like, I could do that any other day. <laughs> so give yourself some grace. Do you know if you gave yourself some grace, you'd be able to give others grace too? No, I never knew that. One of the things that you need to work at in your life, buddy, is if you can't give yourself grace, you're going to be mad at everybody else constantly too. And that's why probably you can't handle bullies. They say one negative thing about you and you're in a tailspin. But when you give yourself the grace, you're like, okay, <laughs> you can say whatever you want to. I'm going to have grace for you, idiot. <laughs> you don't say that. You think it. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any grace for you. <laughs> so you need to give yourself grace. Let me tell you the other thing you need to give yourself. What Luke Hoggard needs to give Luke Hoggard is trust. I really don't trust myself a lot. Uh, we talked earlier about this, about perhaps doing this podcast, and you started telling me about all the things you doubt in yourself. You used to tell me that you thought you were the smartest kid and now you're not so sure. And it's because you've had a couple of things that didn't go the way you wanted to. So you stopped trusting yourself. You're in a class where you're not the tallest or the strongest or the biggest. And so no longer can you be the most athletic, but whatever you put your heart to, whatever you decide to do, you can do it. Yeah. Just sometimes I don't like putting my heart to anything. And I still just like it to be done. And sometimes I just lay with my hand, hands back and a drink on my side. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just want to be chill. But then you never find out what you can trust. Right now, I know you're trying to be a jokester. You're trying to tell jokes all the time. That's, I'm basically a joker good guy. Uh, the, only, the only way you'll ever learn what a good joke is is to tell it but you probably are going to tell 10 bad jokes to find one good one. So tell every joke that pops in my head? Please no. <laughs> I'm just saying, you've got, to, you've got to create some level of filter, and there's going to be moments where people look at you like you're crazy because you're talking kind of crazy. If you want to be the funniest person, you're going to fail a lot more than you're going to get it right. You know the best baseball players in the world? They, they're really good baseball players that they hit one out of every four hit the ball one of every four bats and mm -hmm. so that means they fail more than they succeed the only way you find if you're great at something is if you let if you trust yourself enough to fail a bunch of times does that make any sense to you yeah okay well i had no idea that was the direction we were going to take this luke do you, do you have anything else you want to add this is um the whole earth is listening to you right now Eight and a half billion people subscribe to the person everyone needs. Keep sub subscribing, number one. My dad's a great pastor, <laughs> two. Number three, another thing I think you should know about kids is sometimes 10-year-olds say what they don't, what they don't actually say in their heart. And 
they say something that they don't actually mean, but you just got to roll with it. Tell them, did you actually mean that? And then they'll realize, why did I say that? That's cool. I like that <laughs> last one. That was really good. The person that everyone needs is someone who lets you say the wrong thing and then say it right. Cool. Thanks for being on my podcast, Lukey. I enjoyed it. Awesome. Love you, buddy. This has been the person that everyone needs. <laughs> <laughs>